hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today we're going to have a little bit of a look into the christening of archie now i just want to say before i begin i believe archie was born by a surrogate allegedly entertainment purposes only it's my opinion and i don't believe that he is a taurus i believe he is born earlier i do believe that I'm thinking he is an Aries. Um, now, allegedly on the 6th of July 2019, Archie's christening took place in a chapel at Windsor Castle. However, the exit data from the photo that was taken, like the hard data, um, it was edited in May. So how can that be? But what I'm going to look in, into this reading is I want to know why the Queen and Prince Philip were not at the christening. And did they know any more? That's what I want to ask about this. This might be a series of a series of different readings because I feel like this subject is huge. And I just I'm like you, I just want to find out the truth. Um so I can only go off my prior prior readings. I don't think Archie is a is a Taurus. I think he is an Aries. I don't think he was born of body. I think he was a surrogate. So we're going to have a look and see why Prince Philip and the Queen were not there. And we're going to start off by looking at the Queen's energy. And we're going to use the universal tarot now these are just little cards is that there it's a bit of water i don't know okay so let us have a look and see what this can tell us let's have a look at the queen and then we'll look at prince philip now the queen was a taurus <clears throat> and the queen is in spirit now okay nine of pentacles <clears throat> That's the starting point. She likes things done properly. She is a very kind of together lady. We know that. And the Knight of Wands crossing over. don't think the knight of swords crossing above i think she was advised not to be there you know I feel like she felt pressure to go to go. I think she wanted to try and not rock the boat. But I think she was advised not to go. Because that is the Knight of Swords in reverse. And that could well be talking about security services, protection officers, um, people around her wanting her to be secure and out of harm's way. She 
she was getting pressured to go, pressured to be there. But she's very generous, I have to say. Didn't want to rock the boat at all. Wanted to give the illusion of happy families. <clears throat> so I feel like she didn't go, yeah, completely trying to kind of keep the status quo all the time. Trying to keep the balance. Two of Wands. Okay. Knight of Cups. Justice in reverse. Chariot in reverse. And I think that's uh makes it. And the King of Cups. I feel like she started to try and withdraw around these points, around after the christening, after the birth. She tried to separate herself more from them. I think she felt that they were being foolish, over-emotional, and not thinking with the right mind but she knew something wasn't right and she was confused by it because we have justice in reverse and we have got the knight of swords so she's trying bless her really trying not to rock the boat and keep everything in balance she's really just trying to kind of wave i feel like i feel like she's found out something here i feel like she was aware something was not right now williams come through but it could be king charles actually at this point the king of cups Passing it down. Now it could be King Charles or William because the King of Cups relates to water signs. And water signs, well, William is a Cancerian and King Charles is a Scorpio. So they would both be water signs in that. about the surrogacy or was everything just wrong with date wise because i feel like she knows something is wrong she's got this kind of gut instinct of wanting to stay away the security services are telling her to stay away and she's just trying to keep it pushing let's have a look I think with this did she know the surrogacy at the at the time of the christening? She wants to walk away. Got the Knight of Pentacles there, which would relate to Harry. No, but she's confused because they're already talking about walking away. 
they are already talking about walking away and they're kind of threatening that at this point to the queen and the chariot in reverse there the loss of control that kind of charge forth i feel like I feel like she's been told to kind of not be involved near it and I feel like King Charles, then the Prince of Wales, has told her about the surrogacy. I feel like that's what's happened and she's tried to placate him with money, everything, not King Charles, Harry. And a concern was for Harry. Let's have a look and see what Prince Philip thinks of this. Thinks of stayed away from the prisoner. Might get a bit more. In a throw from Prince Philip. Six of Cups. There's something wrong with regards to the childhood. Um, something straight away, childhood has come through, the sentiment cards come through, and that's turned on its head. So something's not right. So immediately, children, and that's not been right. Page of Cups in reverse. Okay. The Eight of Wands. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. I think Prince Philip is sick of it at this point. He thinks they're being messy. He thinks they're just being... Childish. I feel like there's more to the christening. I feel like what's coming through here, and I'm probably going to ask about William and Charles as well with this. And then, yeah... I feel like the page of cups in reverse there, <clears throat> it's often to do with the Wales' children when I'm doing royal readings, but I feel like this is coming across and I feel a bone of contention here is Harry turning around and saying, but you attended they're going, oh, we won't be attending. And Harry's turned around and said, but you've attended Williams. And he's sick of it already. He's sick of the drama. He's sick of the nonsense. He's sick of the backwards and forwards. The Eight of Cups. They are threatening to walk away at that point as well. The Ace of Coins, of Coins, he thinks they are off to a bad idea. The Moon in Reverse and the Knight of Cups. The Four of Coins again and loss of control. And then what's this one? The Nine of Pentacles. I feel like he really didn't want to be there. I feel like he was getting, he felt like he was getting, he was getting railroaded into stuff and asked to believe things. And I feel like he couldn't be bothered. You know, I mean, the guy was what, 96, 97 at this point? He's going to be pretty... 
pretty tired of it, to be honest with you. It's possibly even 98. The Ace of the Ace of Pentacles crossing over, well, in reverse there. So he really thought Mexit was a stupid decision, waste of money, all about money. He sees it for what it is. Interestingly enough, the moon in reverse. He knows he's being lied to. He knows people are getting manipulated. He knows there's a lot of uh, backwards and forwards going on with regards to what's in the what's really happened. He knows he's uncomfortable with it. We have got the Knight of Cups surrounding him. He's getting told that oh, it's just the way the kids do things these days, and it's really weird because he's kind of like, but they're not kids. Do you know what I mean? He's really got this different energy, but similar cards with the Queen, especially with the loss of control, where the Queen was more worried about it being a, a bigger thing. He, Prince Philip, is just just worried about money and loss of control. We have got the Nine of Pentacles. I do feel like he did. He didn't. He doesn't <laughs> he didn't approve of what they've done he didn't approve of their behavior or the way they went on at all i feel with the nine of pentacles though he that was the starting point for the queen this is why doing lead readings is so important the nine of pentacles there at, right at the start shows that he's just went back and protected the queen and just went and just kept it pushing kept it moving kept it going Let's have a look at Prince William. What does Prince William think? The magician in reverse. He knows this absolute, complete and utter manipulation going on. Complete manipulation going on. The Eight of Cups again. They are threatening to walk away. So they're trying to... They're trying to... The Four of Wands in reverse they are really trying to kind of keep megan and harry happy they really are the four of ones in reverse they were they were actually and i don't they're almost like it's allegedly for entertainment purposes only it's almost like they were threatening and almost trying to blackmail the royal family in a way they were threatening to leave they were seven of swords he knows william's fully aware the queen of swords leaving the situation in reverse oh boy He's really seen through them. He thinks they've been cruel. He thinks they've been manipulative. He thinks they're being harsh. He thinks they've been... They're playing mind games. You can see through their mind games. This is why they don't like William. This is why they have to bring down William, whatever it is. Two of swords. Mind made up. Yeah.
King of Swords in reverse. He thinks really poorly of a man. He knows, he knows what they were doing in the Six of Cups. See, there's the Six of Cups. And William is stopped by the, he knows they're playing a game. He knows they're manipulating. He knows there's bad behavior at this point. He really did know. He really did know. The thing is, William was caught, like I guess the rest of the royal family, because of that childhood trauma. The Six of Cups, of course, being going back into thinking of happier days, childhood um, nostalgia, childhood emotions, things that happened within, and that familiarity that they will feel, because after all, he will be protective of his little brother. However, Wheel of Fortune, what he's worried about. It's bad luck, luck running out. And the Seven of Cups, what happens next? What came out of it all? The gaslighting. He knows. He knew that everything that was happening, remember, <clears throat> This is July 2019, and by the July 2020, the Oprah interview had happened. Was it the Oprah interview? No, the Mexit had happened. And then the following year, it was... It was the Mexit Oprah interview. So, yeah. So... He knew they were getting gaslighted. He knew they were gaslighting. And remember, as well, in 2020, well, me and you didn't particularly believe Harry and Meghan shtick. A lot of other people did. A lot of other people did. Let's have a look at even Charles. They really... I think this is the thing, the blackmail to go along with things and the manipulation and the threats of leaving and why don't we have things and seven of pentacles at the time of the christening king charles was just like oh we'll just see how things happen we'll see how things go ace of wands he knows people are he knows people are trying to kind of manipulate charge up a situation i would say rather than manipulate people are being very forceful and very passionate with their beliefs but he's like oh you just need to have patience knight of pentacles while he's doing it he's doing it for his son who is prince harry and harry is a virgo so he's going along with it to keep the peace however he thinks they are yeah there's the King of Swords in reverse as well. So at that time, he's not on the same wavelength as William with this. William is already, can already see, hi Mill. William can already see what is going on with this. Two seconds. Are you just going to stand in the middle of the... Come on. Come on. William can already see what's going on with this, with the King of Swords in William's mind part. But coming up, King Charles catches on to it quite quickly. Now, what was King Charles thinking actually that time of then? The King of Pentacles in reverse so he is thinking prince harry is being quite ungenerous he is thinking prince harry is being quite unkind and unfair but he's frightened and he wants to look like he's got good relationships with him what's around him there's issues with money for king charles eight of 
to see this eight of cups they're threatening to walk away he's worried that they're going to walk away he doesn't want them to walk away and for king charles especially what's been dredged up is the ghost of diana with the eight of pen eight of cups leaving the situation and then we have what's next messages backwards and forwards and a lot of well we know how it turned out so yeah so that kind of rings true as well the a lot of backwards and forwards um to in and throwing tensions of him trying to get in contact and trying to do things he realizes he realizes that he's been taken for a fool after mexit when they all leave he really realizes he's been taken for a fool and he realizes it's all out of balance he's just like but you have everything why are you leaving why is all of this noise and he's trying to uh, he's trying to kind of soothe the situation appease is the wrong word he's tried to soothe the situation but i really feel like william was a lot more switched on to what was going to happen how it was going to happen and how things are playing out he's ahead of the curve with this out of all of them and i think a lot it could well be to do with catherine as well i don't think she's missing a trick with this william is i believe an empath and so is catherine and i honestly believe that they saw through this instantly and that is why megan didn't like them that is why megan always found front to try fault with the relationships and really here we have a tale around archie's christening where we've looked into the royal each royal family member they've had similar cards there's similar themes and it just looks like the queen to me was very gracious she tried to appease them things weren't adding up and she was warned to stay away from it by the security services and she kind of chose not to necessarily believe that allegedly prince philip was more switched on prince philip was just like this is a load of rubbish why it doesn't if it doesn't make sense then it's not true kind of situation um and he found out and he knew exactly what they were like with the moon revealing everything and the subconscious he knew what was going on and he was just trying to be nice which they both didn't go william knew what was going on and there's a smirk he has this face in the and so does catherine it's like i can't believe we're here Take a look at that christening photo. They're like, this is nonsense. Just the way they're set, separated slightly away from everyone. This is nonsense. there we go that's what i see i feel like we will learn more one day i feel like william is ahead of the curve with what's gonna happen next and he knows more and is very switched on I feel like King Charles, basically they were all pressured into stuff that they didn't, they didn't necessarily want to do and they tried to soothe troubled waters and it's ended up as it is. I don't think they knew full the full extent of the moon bump till after Mexit. I think William knew though. I think William was trying to say, look guys, there's something really not right here. 
I think William knew, I think Catherine knew. And by extent, Sophie would have known. <laughs> I think they knew, but I don't think they got everything kind of confirmed till after, after Mexit really confirmed. Um, but I don't think King Charles or the Queen would have been willing to listen at that point, maybe, allegedly. But we shall see, we shall see. Let me know what you think of the reading. Let me know if there's any other readings you want me to do. I can do other things, not just the royal family. Um, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you guys spending some time with me. And um, I shall see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. Take care of yourselves now.